Talk about severe weather. It was a devastating Easter Sunday for some people in the South. Tornadoes ripping through parts of Mississippi and Louisiana. At least six are dead. Hundreds of buildings wiped out. And this is just a very graphic reminder uh, about something I think most of us in the Midwest understand. Severe weather can hit. It can be devastating. And we need to have a plan. It is Severe Weather Awareness Week, and it's something that our weather team takes very seriously, Riley. Uh, I, I wondered what is the main thing that you'd like our viewers to do during this Severe Weather Awareness Week? I think this is a great time, especially since the weather is quiet right now for us up here in Minnesota and Wisconsin to kind of really start to think about your preparation and what you would do when severe weather will strike. Now, we've had a couple nights, at least one night that I remember that we had some storms roll through and it was loud. Um, there were a few, a few severe thunderstorm warnings that were mainly to the north and the main threat that night was hail. But we also have to gather this time and look around your house, start getting prepared. Like where would you go um, for your for severe weather? What what would you do? You know, this is time to kind of get your gatherings, uh, get the bottled water, get uh, food that you can eat, get a safety kit, know where your safety kit is in the house um, in case you uh, in case you encounter you know damage at your house that you need to to, to help yourselves and your family um, you know have things like an extra pair of shoes because you know if you are in your house and you know the windows break and there's glass especially if it's dark you are trying to walk around um, you'll your feet could get cut always have I always say it's good to have some kind of football helmet too because in addition to trying to find your safe place in your house such as you know an interior uh, room because you don't want it to be near windows you want to get the most interior place if you don't have a base of course if you have a basement that's the safest place to go but you want to cover your head so in addition to just going to a basement you want to kind of look around if you can get under the stairwell in the basement or under something sturdy maybe uh, you know a, a, a tool table something along those lines that's things that you need to start thinking about and while the why the uh, weather is quiet now this is one a good thing to do and another thing also uh, to think about if you have uh, you know a, a safe for some reason put your IDs in there put your insurance statements you know things like that that you can uh, keep you know important paperwork Riley what's a, what's one of the biggest dangers that I think people aren't quite ready for well, I think it's really from, I think the dangerous thing really to think about, I mean, when you think of in terms of severe weather, you you have multiple things that you have. You can have lightning, okay, that's dangerous. You don't want to go, you know, you don't want to go under a tree. I mean, those are things that we always talk about, you know, you don't want to stand under something tall. But it's also, you know, trying to get into the overnight storms, you know, a lot of people go to sleep. Um, you want to make sure that you have your weather siren ready or your app handy that something that can alert you to wake you up because nighttime storms are the most dangerous because people are unaware they're sleeping you know yeah the thunder might you, you might hear it but your storm you may be um, a, a, a distance away from the storm sirens and not hear them you want to make sure that you have something that will wake you up in advance and be ready and get to your safe place Good advice, Riley. Thursday is the day, just so everybody knows, when uh, the statewide siren test will be. So those sirens will go off twice on Thursday, 145 and 645 at night. So just uh, the outdoor system to be ready for, too. Uh, nothing on the horizon for us, though, my goodness, other than, other than just freezing our tails off the next couple days, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> right, and we also what ha we we saw what happened down in the south. We saw the footage down there, but yeah, up here, I mean, we're talking about cold temperatures. Temperatures are going to stay well below average. You know.